Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're going to be taking a look at a 65% keyboard that I saw the other day, and I guess I just had to give it a shot. Now, this is called the Royal Axe Y68. It's also sold by the name Yunzi, which some of you guys may have seen. Y-U-N-Z-I-I. -I. So I don't know if they're just rebranding it or if this is a sub-brand of theirs or what have you. I've only purchased one Yunzi in the past and it was actually one of the first videos I made and it, I think I still have it online. Uh, I may have taken it down, but it, 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 I was st still learning. I mean, I'm not an editor by any means, but I didn't know what I was doing then. and I was very loud, but the one thing that I remember that keyboard, it literally creaked. It was an 80%. It was basically almost the same case as the RK and the EP84, but it was translucent and it was so thin that it literally creaked. So I've kind of... There is a Yunzi I'm interested in, but I've just kind of kept my distance from Yunzi because of that experience. So I don't know if this is made by Yunzi or sub-branded. Apparently, this is the second revision, and they do come in not only 65%, but there's also a TKL version and a compact 100%, as well as a full size. From what I've been able to see, I don't know if those are the previous ones or the new ones, but... Um, it sells on Amazon for $99. The other day it was on sale. Uh, I don't know if it was a pre-Amazon Prime Day, Tuesday, whatever. I mean, they come up with anything, any reason to have a sale nowadays. But regardless, it was $20 off because it sells for normally $99 and it sold for $79. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. It has a different look. You know, will it be worthwhile? And that's what we're here to find out. So it does look like it has... Uh, let me see. All right, you gotta open it like this and slide the inner box out. I thought it was a pretty wide box for a 65% keyboard. All right, uh, here we have silver gray. So it looks like, and I did see the pictures of it that they they do have um, four different color um, colorways for for this kit and. Um, they're all kind of interesting. Some I think will, some people would like more than the others. The the pink red, um, not my particular style, but I think there's a lot of people that really love it. Uh, but this was this one was the only one that I found available on Amazon. And let's see if I can actually open a box. And I was gonna say, wait a minute, I didn't buy a key cron, did I? <laughs> so I. I they're obviously taking a page from Keychron here, but it's telling you the function Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2, um, Bluetooth 3, Windows 7 and 8. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, people are still run running Windows 7 and Windows 8. Well, I guess some are. Um, and then it shows that it has the uh, 2.4 gigahertz receiver. The uh, knob thingy, it's, it's a slider switch, basically. Three position switch. It's basically to decide if you're wired um, or if you're in Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz mode and there's nothing on the back side of that. So let's see what we got as accessories first here. We've got a few red switches. I believe that's the only choice I had was red or blue. So I went with red or red was the only choice. But these are, these are actually Gatoron. So they're Gatoron reds, but I do prefer when they have Gatoron switches um, as a choice instead of just using the cheapest brand available. I mean, I know Gatoron does have some budget ones, but at least they're pretty well-made switches. So, oh, I don't know how this... Oh, okay, it just comes out. So, they've got a little box here with... All right. Not necessarily a big fan of the packaging. It's a little bit much. So, we got... All right. We got a... Actually, a decent switch puller. I do prefer when they have both ends, but I'm not going to complain. And then we got a decent wire keycap puller. 
And then here we have, oh, this looks like it's the adjustable feet. Now this is something that I saw that, I'm not, I'm not gonna know if I like it until I actually see it. But um, these are the kind of things that will get lost. So because uh, this doesn't have any flip out feet, it does have these basically extender feet, which are magnetic. Um, obviously they won't stick to each other, but unless it has a place to hold these when you're not using them, be a problem so I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff back in because I don't need it I want to do want to take a look at the feet put all this back together and back in its little spot let's see what we have in the other side box and here it appears we have oh well look at that I mean that I, I, I'll say it this is the first time. Now, I'm not the craziest about aviator connectors and all that, but this is the first time I've bought a keyboard that came. I mean, all right, this is kinky as heck, but um, this is the first time I have bought a keyboard that actually included, I mean, even though this is the old style, I mean, they're using the Limo connectors now, but that actually included an aviator connector. I mean, that's that's a first. I, hands down, that's a first. I'm uh, I'm quite surprised. Uh, I mean, I'm like I said, that that kind of just ruins the whole experience because I mean, there's no way I'm gonna get get that curl back. I mean, uh, I could try. I mean, if I worked it with a heat gun, I'm sure I could, but I shouldn't have to. I mean, it, if you're going to include such a great cable, and package it right. Because that's a packaging issue. That's why that got screwed up, because it wasn't packaged properly. But, yet again, still, they got their logo, the Royal Ace logo, on there. Let's... Hmm. The um, paint on it is damaged. I thought it was some dust on it, but I don't know if you can see. I... I'm not trying to be nitpicky, but it's like, it's already like worn away and it's got some, some scratches on it. Um, so it's like, they just half ass this. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure I was impressed for a minute, but that impression, that, that good feeling kind of went away quickly. So I'm just going to stick this back in the box. I'm going to put, I'm going to package it properly so it doesn't further affect the coil, but I mean, that's the least I can do. Um, we can put that back. All right. And let's pull out the keyboard. What we all, oh, what we all came here for. It's instruction manual. Put its little thing back in there. Now it does have one of these um, cling wrap bags that it comes in. And again, we have the logo. So they definitely, they spent some money on making sure their branding is all over the place. And they also have a dust cover, but I mean, this is the cheapest, thinnest plastic about that you can find. Um, I've received several of these. This is one of the thinner plastics. So I mean, if you're gonna include a dust cover, spend a couple more cents and get the, the you know, I mean, this is one mil maybe, two mil. Get like a 10 mil, get a 15 mil, get something that's actually going to, you know, withstand something falling on it. This, as soon as it goes on the floor and somebody actually steps on it, it's done. But anyway, so here we are. <clears throat> we have the keyboard at hand. And this is the Royal Ace Y68. Silver gray. Now, it does have some metal accents on the side has an on and off switch. That's where the uh, 2.4 gigahertz receiver seems to reside and it actually goes in there pretty good and actually comes out pretty good. Not bad. Um, these metal edges are, are, are interesting. You've even got a little bit of a, I mean, obviously there's no fan, but you got a grill and, and that. I, I, I gotta say that's interesting. You have slain an enemy 
Royal Axe. I mean, they definitely put their brand everywhere you can find. Now, here's the magnetic feet. So I guess, yeah, that's how they go in. So yeah, so while you're not using um, one set of the feet, I mean, obviously find the ones you wanna use and uh, stick with those and put the other ones back in the box. Um, it is an interesting design because I will say a drop has the same design and I don't have a drop right here. Uh, but all they have is the magnets and they just stick on there. That's it, the magnets hold and there's nothing else to keep it in place. So a nice knot can knock the magnet off. Here, the magnet actually goes into a slot. So even if you move it around, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Even if you move it around, it's still gonna stay in there. Um, looks like it's pretty solid. It's not gonna go anywhere. So I've gotta say kudos to them on that. Um, just to provide the specs real quick so everyone has them. Right now I have the bigger feet in, but these are the shorter feet. Default on the shorter feet, you get a de seven degree typing angle with a back height of 32 millimeters. The chin remains at 22.5 millimeters. If you switch it out and put in the longer legs like I have right now, your typing degree goes up to 11 degrees with a back height of 39.5 millimeters. The chin remains the same. Um, wanted to provide these specs because I do know some people you know, care about the height, especially the chin and what kind of angles they're gonna get. Um, I don't believe that this you know, should be used without feet because then you don't have, you got feet at the bottom but no feet at the top. So I didn't measure it at that. Uh, I mean, I guess somebody could just stick on some feet, um, but I would guess that would be a much lower rate um, of, of inclinement. So those are just the regular ones, see how they kind of match up. And these are the longer ones. Hope that helps. Hmm. All right, so we do have, let's go ahead and put on Bluetooth mode and turn on the lights and see what we got. All right. They're, they aren't the brightest, but as you notice, this these aren't shine through keycaps. So, you know, they're they're obviously going for the more higher end. Uh, the keycaps do appear to be a cherry profile. Um, and if I had to guess by the feel, uh, I'd rather just pull it off and try to get a better idea. All right. So, hmm. Yep, they're PVT. All right, and even though they're double shot, it, they're only double shot at the top, um, and that's probably die subbed the uh, sub legend there. But like I said, just just taking a look. I, I gotta say though, this this keyboard. I, I, at first, I was like, okay, it's gonna be gimmicky, but it has a substantial amount of weight. I mean, it has you know the wireless capabilities as well as wired. Uh, it has, you know, a pocket for the 2.4 gigahertz receiver. It has the USB-C connector in the middle, which I prefer. It's not a big thing. It has a lot of features that I like. Um, then it has sub-legends, you know, they call function option. Uh, not too crazy about all this, but that, that can easily be removed. Th this side bar, badge, whatever it is, uh, if you guys have paid attention, there's a CIY is working on this this keyboard called the War Machine. Now they keep saying they're prototyping it, but we still haven't seen anything. So uh, hopefully it does not become vaporware. But this one has a very similar language. This is a it looks like something that could be used in the field, you know, in the battlefield. I'm you know, I'm out in the battlefield and I got to do this and I got to do that. Um, so I'm, I'm actually, from the design of it, it's funny, from the pictures, I was like, yeah, it looks a little gimmicky. But now that I have it in hand and I can feel it, I actually say that it's pretty nice. And it's using Gatoron Reds and it really, it, I mean, It sounds really nice. I mean, I I sometimes set expectations. I, I think some boards are going to be amazing. And I get them and I'm just like, okay. 
And then there's other boards that I'm like, eh, this is just gonna be a man. Then I get it, I'm like, ooh. So it's, I mean, I hate to use the old saying, but you, you don't read a book by its cover. A lot of times it does work, yes, but sometimes a keyboard will come along that will just surprise you. And this one is one of them. Now, am I a fan of the colorway? Not particularly, but I can do something about that. Now, granted, the colorway does have, you know, the sub legends for the instructions, but um, I mean, that, oh, that's not that's not that big of a deal. Uh, obviously, it has brightness. This is the option. Let's see. Different light effects. It has. I mean, it is a 65%, but they basically, all they're giving you is these two extra keys with this. I mean, this really just controls, I'm not connected to anything, so it's not gonna show the mode, but this just controls and what, you know, how it's working. Uh, wired Bluetooth 2.4. So this, this key is actually intentionally left blank. Oh no, this is, that's the function key. Oh. Probably because it's not connected, it's not wanting to change modes. But the function key is there, although this also says function. So I'll have to see about that. I'm gonna hope, I mean, I know the other Yunzi did have basic software and it did have basic pro, uh, reprogramming. Um, so here, if I can turn the delete into an insert, but problem is, is I like having page up and page down, which, they have an iOS mode, a Mac mode, and a Win mode. I don't know what the difference between iOS and Mac mode is. Um, I don't see any sub legends for page up, page down. Oh, there's insert for, with delete. Oh, okay, no, that, never mind. I'm just blind. Page up, page down, end and home. I might actually be able to get used to that. I don't know. I'm. I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I got to say that I'm pleasantly surprised. I, mean, I was not expecting. Uh, this kind of quality, this interesting new build. I mean, you know, seeing the same model, you know, or different keyboard names, but basically the same models, you know, week after week, it kind of gets a little tiring. It's nice to have something that's creative and something that's a little different. So I'm actually quite surprised about this keyboard. Glad that I got it on a deal. Um, do I think it's worth 99 bucks? It might well be. But I'm gonna have to get in there. I'm gonna have to get in there and take a look at it. I wanna see what's uh, what's it doing. Um, I did wanna check one thing. I know it's hot swappable, obviously it came with switches, but um, yeah, they don't have any, uh, there's no pad on there, it's straight PCB. And All right, I don't know if they lube these or they're factory lube, but there is no spring pin that I can discern in um, in the switches. And you know, it is north facing, so obviously folks that are concerned about interference uh, should know that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave you guys with a sound test. Uh, I don't think I'll be coming at, back afterwards. I mean, I. I want to use the keyboard now. I'm going to go ahead and use it for a little while and see, you know, what I think about it. I'm probably going to switch out the, the switches and the keycaps, and I want to see about reprogramming and everything. I do usually like at least three buttons on the side, if not four, preferably. Um, this probably could have been on this side, but if I can still work and that doesn't come in my way, that's a good thing. So I'm... Uh, I'm intrigued. I, I must say, I'm intrigued. I don't get, I haven't been surprised um, very often, and this board surprised me um, right off the bat. Little things with that cable, but it's still, it's, a, it's an aviator cable. So, um, like I said, this keyboard hasn't, it, it would, it's probably close to a kilo. If I had to guess, I'd say roughly 800, 850 grams. So it's, it's a substantial keyboard. So anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with a stock sound test with these Gatoron Reds that sound like they're uh, factory lubed. I don't believe they're Gatoron G Reds because I don't believe seeing that, but I could have missed it. But uh, And they didn't feel like it either. 
But I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of this board stock. This is the um, Royal oh, Royal Axe Royal Axe Y sixty eight that is brought to you by Yunzi. I like again. I don't know if Yunzi is just reselling it like Epo Maker does, or Yunzi has created like a new line of. Uh, uh, more enthusiast grade keyboards now I do know they have a couple other keyboards that are very interesting so I gotta give them props for you know being creative I mean sometimes you will be creative and people just won't react and other times you get creative and people are like hey so and especially you know when it comes to keyboards don't get me wrong we all like to stick to certain things but having something new especially something new and useful is is a benefit to everyone so i hope you enjoy the sound test until the next transmission keep calm keyboard on